Hey everyone, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. Another custom build came in my shop. And he says he cannot get this to boot or post or something of the sorts. He's frustrated with it. And he's brought it into my shop. <laughs> Has no front cover on this. This is a Cougar case. It's missing some stuff up top here too. Nothing I can do about that. I guess he has all of that. Uh, I think he said he's got a Ryzen 9 in this computer. Let's go ahead and open this door and just have a quick look at what he's got here. Okay, well, big old honking uh, cooler, that's for sure. What is that? That's a Noctua. This fan looks like it's just kind of hanging out here. Not really sure. What's going on with that? Um, video card. This is a Radeon RX 570 XT. Um, it's got all four slots occupied with RAM. Thermal take RGB 1200 watt power supply. Seriously overkill. Just, just inspecting it. It's looking like Looking like the front panel connector there. So we'll have to take a closer look, but it looks like it's power plugged in properly. Um, yeah, fan header, USB, audio. The RAM looks like it's seated in there pretty good. The USB 3 here looks like it's connected good. Uh, the 24 pin looks like it's seated in there very well. There's your CPU uh, header up there. That uh, power header, that looks good. Looks like it's plugged in correctly. Um, so, so he says he can't get it to do anything. You know, some, some people call not doing anything uh, actually does something. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug all this up to my monitor. I think I'm going to lay it down. Plug it into my monitor here. And let's just fire it up like it is now and let's see if it does anything. Okay, um, I'm taking this fan out. Uh, he's got this, he's got the CPU fan plugged into just a regular system fan header. Oh, it says AIO pump. It says it's got it hooked into the pump. Usually the headers are up here. I don't see no headers there. So, yeah, I don't think that's the wrong place. I think he's okay there. Well, I've got it uh, just to simply plugged in. And we got some RGB lights going on the board here. So, that's a good sign. What is that? Let's just, just hit this power button. I don't have any keyboard or monitor hooked up or nothing. Okay, so he's got fans. It does power on. Let me turn it off. Okay, so he said it doesn't do anything. Anything could mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. So it actually does power on. Fans spin. Lights come on. So, uh-oh. You know what? Just kind of goofing with this video card. If you, it's... It doesn't feel like that video card is seated into the socket at all. Okay, look here. Look at this card. We're not even in that slot properly. Let's investigate that a little bit more. Okay, I've just taken those two screws out. The video card. It's uh, it doesn't feel like it's sitting in there right at all. Let me let me go ahead and take off these. Kind of in my way. See if I lift up on this. I don't know. Look at that. Wow. It's not seating in there worth a darn. Let me pull this up. Yeah, I don't think that was seated in there too good. Let me inspect this. Here we go. Here we go. 
Now that's locked. That just locked. Did it? It should lock. I think that's going to be it. I uh, just locked that in there. So I used to not be able to see that lever down there. Now I can see it now. I don't think it was in the card wasn't even sitting in the board right. I'm going to go ahead and um, put these two screws back in to secure this video card down. I'm going to hook this up to the monitor. Let's see if we can get a post. Power's hooked up. Let's go ahead and hit that power button here. Okay, we've got the light. Show you there, it's moving. White, there's your RGBs. Do we get a post? Wait for it. Wait for it. Green, post. Bang. <laughs> that was it. He didn't have his video card in. Wow. All of that. It was his video card that he didn't have seated in there all the way. Wow. Just wow. Temps 44C. What is this? This is a a Ryzen 9, 9 3900X. That's it. Guys, you got to recheck all of your components. If you're not getting a post, if you're not getting a boot, reseat everything. Even your processor sometimes. Just double check it, triple check it, pull your RAM, reseat them, pull your video card, reseat them. You can go around and reseat all of your power connections to be sure everything is uh, perfect because this guy has been pulling his hair out for days trying to figure out why his computer won't boot. And he's even purchased other parts. His video card just wasn't seated correctly. Anyway. Thanks for watching.